Welcome to this lesson on polygons. This is a review of polygons. Remember a polygon is a closed figure with three or more straight sides. Sides are the line segments that form the shape. A vertex, or if you're talking about more than one vertices, are the points where two sides meet. So in the example below, there are sides here. There are five of them. And then vertices here where the sides meet. And there are also five vertices. A couple of words to describe polygons. Equilateral means a polygon with all equal sides. Equal angular means a polygon with all equal angles. A regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equal angular. So it has all equal sides and angles. An example of that would be a square. All the sides are the same, all the angles are 90 degrees, so it's a regular polygon. All right, so let's try some examples. So number one is the shape of polygon. That would be no because it has a curved side. You only want straight sides. Number two is the shape of polygon. Yes. It has straight sides and they are all closed, meaning there's no gaps. All the sides meet. Number three, is this polygon equilateral? Meaning it has all equal sides. These markings here mean that all the sides are equal, so that would be yes. Number four, is this polygon equiangular? We don't have any markings to tell us that it's equal angular, and I can see that this angle here is way bigger than this angle here, so that would be a no. Number five, mark the polygon to show that it is a regular polygon. Remember, regular means it has all equal sides and all equal angles. So for sides, we're going to mark with these congruency marks. For angles, you put a little angle congruency mark. So this is a regular polygon. And then number six, is this shape a polygon? That would be no because it's not closed. It's open here, so that's not a polygon. All right, let's continue on. Let's talk about the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. To determine the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, we're going to use the formula n minus 2 times 180. All right, and n equals the number of sides. And just a couple of reminders, sum means you add them all up. Interior means inside. So we're adding up all of the angles inside a polygon. And we want to do that because that's going to help us solve problems with polygons. All right, so the first type is a polygon with three sides, and that's called a triangle. All right, so we're going to use n minus 2 times 180. A polygon has three sides, so 3 minus 2 times 180, which gives us 180 degrees. So every triangle has 180 degrees inside. If we add up all three angles, they always add to equal 180. All right, number four is a quadrilateral. Has four sides, so four minus two times 180, which is 360. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. So 5 minus 2 times 180 would be 540. 
So for any pentagon, if you add up all of the angles inside, the interior angles, you will get 540 degrees. All right, six, a six-sided polygon is a hexagon. That would be 720. A seven-sided polygon is a heptagon. Nine hundred. An eight-sided polygon is an octagon. One thousand eighty. Nine sides is a nonagon. That would be twelve sixty. You should be seeing a pattern over here on the right. If you don't yet, I'll point it out in a second. A 10-sided polygon is a decagon. So 10 minus 2 times 180 is 1,440 degrees. There really isn't a name for an 11-sided polygon, so we're going to skip to 12. A 12-sided polygon is a dodecagon. And that gives us 1800. And the pattern that you should have been seeing is every time we add a side, we add 180 degrees to the interior angles. And that will continue to work. Now here, since we went from 10 to 12, we actually added not 180, but 360. Okay. Let's go ahead and work on these examples below. I'll give you a second to finish the chart if you need it. As always, pause the video if you need a second to catch up. Okay, number one, what type of polygon is shown? This has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So this is a hexagon. Number two, solve for X. So this is where those interior angles come in. So first of all, we need to figure out how many sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna scroll back up to my chart here. This is a heptagon. It's going to have 900 degrees inside. So that means that all of those angles should add up to 900. If you wanna write them all out, you can. All of these together. It's going to be hard to list them all. I'm going to come down here. All of these together should equal 900. So let's go ahead and add up all the angles that we have. So just add them up in your calculator. All right, and you should have gotten 776 plus X, because there's still one that we don't know here, equals 900. And then we're just gonna subtract 776 from both sides. And you should get 124 degrees. So this angle here is 124 degrees. All right, number three, this has one, two, three, four, five sides. So it's a pentagon. Let's scroll back up and see how many degrees, so 540. So that means all of these angles should equal 540. It doesn't matter the order that you list them in. You can put X first, you can put X last, or in the middle, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you don't forget any. So let's add up all of the angles that we know already. So 165 plus 150 plus 100 plus 82. And we get 497. Then I'm going to subtract that from both sides. And you get 43 degrees. So this angle here is 43 degrees. 
All right, lastly, this is a quadrilateral. It has four sides. And a quadrilateral has 360 degrees inside. So this one we have multiple variables. You're still gonna write out the equation the same way. So 105 plus y plus 180 minus y. And actually, we don't need those parentheses if you wanna get rid of those. Because we're gonna combine like terms equals 360. Okay, so I have some like terms here. I have 105 and 180. That gives me 285. Then I have y minus y plus y. So y minus y, that's zero. And then plus y, I can just bring down. All right, and then I'm gonna subtract 285 from both sides. So y equals 75. All right, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.